The 3M22 Zircon also spelled as 3M22 Zircon, Russian, NATO reporting name, SSN-33, is a scramjet-powered maneuvering anti-ship hypersonic cruise missile currently in production by Russia. The missile represents a further development of the Hypersonic Experimental Flying Vehicle HELA, developed by NPO Mashinostroin IA that was on display at the 1995 MAX Air Show. Prototypes were test-launched from a Tupolev Tu-22M3 bomber in 2012-2013. Launches from a ground-based platform followed in 2015, with first success achieved in 2016. In April 2017, it was reported Zircon had reached a speed of Mach 8, 6,100 miles per hour. 9,800 km per hour, 2,700 meters per second, during a flight test. Zircon was again test-fired on June 3, 2017, almost a year earlier than had been announced by Russian officials. In November 2017, Colonel General Viktor Bondarev stated that the missile was already in service. Another flight test reportedly occurred on December 10, 2018, during which the missile demonstrated that it could attain a speed of Mach 8. Dot on February 20, 2019, Russian President Vladimir Putin claimed the missile can accelerate up to Mach 9 and destroy both sea and land targets within 1,000 kilometers, 540 nautical miles, 620 miles. By the year's end, on December 24, 2019, Putin stated that Zircon's land-based version was in development. According to the commander-in-chief of the Russian Navy Nikolai Yevminov, as of January 2020, Zircon was still in testing phase and despite the overall positive evaluation of the test program, still suffered from the childhood diseases, Russian idiom meaning teething problems. Modernized frigates are expected to be the first platform to receive the hypersonic missile, and the tests are to be continued in parallel with the Navy's armament with the caliber cruise missile. Yevminov further stated Zircon is expected to enter service in the coming years. In early January 2020, Zircon was first test launched from the frigate Admiral Gorshkov in the Barents Sea, and successfully hit a ground target in the northern Urals, exceeding the distance of 500 kilometers. On October 7, 2020, the Russian Chief of General Staff, Valery Gerasimov, stated a Zircon was launched from Admiral Gorshkov in the White Sea and successfully hit a sea target in the Barents Sea 450 km, 280 miles, away, reportedly reaching a speed of more than Mach 8 and altitude of 28 km, 17 miles. On November 26, 2020, the Russian Defense Ministry announced the successful test of a missile launched from Admiral Gorshkov in the White Sea hitting a naval target 450 kilometers away in the Barents Sea. On December 11, 2020, the Russian Defense Ministry announced the successful test of a missile launched from Admiral Gorshkov in the White Sea, hitting a ground target 350 kilometers away in the Arkhangelsk region. On July 19, 2021, the Russian Defense Ministry announced the successful test of a missile launched from Admiral Gorshkov in the White Sea, hitting a ground target 350 kilometers away on the coast of the Barents Sea. The flight speed reached nearly 7 Mach. The flight tests of the missile from a coastal mount and a surface ship carrier were reportedly completed as of late September 2021 with over 10 launches performed. On October 4, 2021, the Russian Defense Ministry announced the successful test of a missile launched from a nuclear submarine for the first time from a surface position. The Defense Ministry, which tested firing the Zhurkhan missile from a warship in July, said that the nuclear submarine Severodvinsk fired the missile while deployed in the Barents Sea and had hit its chosen target. Low-quality video footage released by the ministry showed the missile shooting upwards from a submarine, its glare lighting up the night sky and illuminating the water's surface. A second submerged launch from a depth of 40 meters was reported later the same day. The next day it was reported that the missile's trials from the submarine had been completed. A Zhurkhan hypersonic missile test launched from the Northern Fleet's Frigate Admiral Flota Savetskogo Soyuz Agorshkov struck a naval target in the White Sea with a direct hit, Russia's Defense Ministry reported on November 18, 2021. The crew of the Northern Fleet Frigate Admiral Gorshkov, as part of the completion of the cycle of tests of hypersonic missile weapons, fired another Zircon missile at a sea target on November 29 and another one at a coastal target on December 16. The Zhurkhan hypersonic system was salvo launched on December 24, 2021 and again launched on February 19, 2022. On May 28, 2022 Russian Ministry of Defense released a video and news of a new test launch where a Zircon missile hit a sea target at a distance of 1,000 km, 620 miles, in the White Sea. Zircon is believed to be a maneuvering, winged hypersonic cruise missile with a lift-generating center body. A booster stage with solid fuel engines accelerates it to supersonic speeds, after which a scramjet motor with liquid fuel, desaline, JP-10 jet fuel, in the second stage accelerates it to hypersonic speeds. 
The missile's range is estimated to be 135 to 270 nautical miles, 155 to 311 miles, 250 to 500 kilometers, at low level, and up to 400 nautical miles, 460 miles, 740 kilometers, in a semi-ballistic trajectory. Average range is around 400 to 450 kilometers, 250 to 280 miles, 220 to 240 nautical miles. According to Russian media, 2017, the longest possible range is 540 nautical miles, 620 miles, 1000 kilometers, and for this purpose a new fuel was created. Some internet tabloids even claim the range of missile can reach 1000 to 2000 kilometers, depending on the type of target. The high speed of the Zircon likely gives it better target penetration characteristics than lighter subsonic cruise missiles, such as Tomahawk. Being twice as heavy and almost 11 times as fast as Tomahawk, the Zircon has more than 242 times the on-cruise kinetic energy of a Tomahawk missile, tilde 9 gigajoules, or equal to 2,150 kg TNT explosive energy. Its 8 to 9 Mach speed means that it cannot be intercepted by existing missile defense systems and its precision makes it lethal to large targets as aircraft carrier. Zircon can travel at a speed of Mach 8, Mach 9, 6,100 to 6,900 miles per hour, 9,800 to 11,000 kilometers per hour, 2.7 to 3.1 kilometers per second. This has led to concerns that it could penetrate existing naval defense systems. Because it flies at hypersonic speeds within the atmosphere, the air pressure in front of it forms a plasma cloud as it moves, absorbing radio waves and making it practically invisible to active radar systems, plasma stealth. With plasma stealth, hypersonic speed and sea skimming technique, intercepting a flying zircon is extremely difficult, if at all feasible at the current level of technology. The final section of the trajectory will be overcome in a minimum time, under 10 seconds, the enemy will not have time to carry out all the necessary procedures Zircon exchanges information in flight and can be controlled by commands if necessary. Zircon will be first deployed with the Kirov-class battlecruiser Admiral Nikimov after 2021. The ship's P-700 Granite anti-ship missiles is being replaced with the 3S-14 Universal VLS cells capable of carrying the Onyx, Caliber and Zircon anti-ship cruise missiles. The vessel is to be equipped with 72 such missiles. The other active Kirov-class ship, Pyotr Veliki, will undergo a similar procedure. After completion of their refit, the ships could carry 40 to 80 anti-ship cruise missiles of different types. Other platforms are likely to include Russian Navy's Admiral Grigorovich-class and Admiral Gorshkov-class frigates, as well as Gremyashchi-class, Buyan-class and Karakurt-class corvettes, mainly due to the installation of the compatible 3S-14 vertical launchers. There are certain design similarities between Zircon and BrahMos-2, which have been noted by experts. Some experts have also postulated that the BrahMos-2 might be an export version of the Zircon missile. A version for export to any non-MTCR country should have its range limited under 300 km in compliance with the Missile Technology Control Regime MTCR, or up to 400 km. The Zircon missile gives Russia a good battlefield advantage for now, but that gap will close soon. As a strategic weapon, it does not give much of an edge as intercontinental ballistic missiles will serve the same purpose. It could really turn the tide of conventional wars as it seems to be doing for now in Ukraine. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.